Next on Jonathan Bird's Blue World, a deep and spooky sinkhole in the Yucatan with a mysterious false bottom. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. This murky pond in the middle of a Yucatan jungle might not look like an exciting place to go for a dive. But as I'm about to find out, there's something spectacular lurking beneath the surface. My day begins at Phantom Divers in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. They'll be taking me on a dive to explore the sinkhole. We load the van and set off on our adventure through the jungle on miles of dirt roads. Finally, we arrive at Muyal Ha. It looks like a pond, but it's actually an incredibly deep sinkhole. I can only imagine what I'll find down there. A sinkhole is a formation that used to be a cave, but a section of the roof fell in, creating an opening to the sunlight above. Then it filled with water and sediment at the bottom. My guide is cave diver Carlos Estrabo, but everyone calls him Charlie. We discuss the dive and he tells me what to expect. Most importantly, it's deep. Charlie shows me his favorite way to get in the water, but with scuba gear, I think I'll go off the dock. We swim out into the middle of the sinkhole and it's time to descend. As we descend, I can see that the water is not as clear as I was expecting. Because this is a sinkhole and not a cave system, the water is a bit stagnant. At the center of the sinkhole is a pile of debris, including tree branches that have fallen in from the surrounding forest. There are a lot of leaves, like this partially decomposed one. The light coming in from the opening above shows that the interior of the sinkhole is much larger than the opening above. Around the sides of the cavern, stalactites hang from the ceiling, including some really big ones. As I descend deeper, markings on the wall show where the water level used to be when the water table was lower in the past. There isn't much living down here, but a few fish survive in areas where the light penetrates. Charlie directs me to a small opening in the wall. It's a little cave that just goes back a few meters. He leads me in to investigate. On the ceiling is a type of rock formation called popcorn, where the calcium carbonate has formed little round bumps. Deeper in the cave, Charlie shows me the bones and teeth of an animal that probably died in here thousands of years ago when the cave was dry. The bones are encrusted with calcium and I will not move them since they've been unmoved for so long. Heading out of the cave, I follow Charlie into the light and then deeper down into the depths of the sinkhole. When we reach what appears to be the bottom, I'm in for a huge surprise. I can't believe my eyes when Charlie sinks into the bottom like it's a cloud. It's not the bottom at all, but a layer of sulfur that hangs near the bottom in the motionless water. I sink down with Charlie into the cloudy layer. Underneath it turns reddish yellow. We're more than 100 feet deep. On the bottom are thousands of years worth of decomposing leaves, which are the source of the sulfur cloud. No fish can live down here.
As I rise up out of the cloud, I find more wispy cloud layers to explore along the edge of the wall. It's really fun to swim through them like an airplane soaring through the clouds in the sky. With our scuba tanks getting low, it's now time to head back to the surface. The dim light from above is a welcome sight as I ascend. Man, that was wild. The water in the bottom of the sinkhole is so calm that that sulfur layer just lays there and it, it looks like sand. I mean, it looks like the bottom of the sinkhole. But then you realize you could put your hand in it and your whole body will just go right down into it like a cloud. That was just weird. I've never seen anything like that. So cool. My dive in Muyal Ha sinkhole was an exciting combination of creepy and mysterious. It's another example of the wonders of the blue world in a place where you would never expect it.